Nothing outside of him. And that is where he's made this person have a healthy and beautiful body. Because like I said, everything starts from within. So let's see, Spirit. And whoever this is, they know their worth. All right, this is coming out. Yep, six of wands. Victor! Wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Promotions, awards, or scholarships. All right, and at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords. I always tell y'all, the Six of Swords is your spirit guide's gotten before. Um, it says this is the end of a challenging time. Things are looking up. Find your way to a peaceful place here. All right, and then you have this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The King of Wands is a very passionate go getter. It's like a visionary leader. Okay, um, this person could be in public speaking, um, this person has the ability to communicate their vision, and they, they keep their eye on the bigger picture, okay? This person is also not sensitive to criticism. When this person's in their higher self, they, they're going for what it is. All right, and then you have transformation here. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations. Breaking free from procrastination, releasing the old belief system. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, whoever this King of Wands is, okay, because it's the only person I see out here, this person is going through some major transformations. This is someone who I feel used to go outside of themselves, used to be sensitive to criticism because they were not living through that high self. Maybe this person didn't know their worth. Um, but now they're going within. And what do I say about this? Somebody's constantly getting messages from spirit. 
the God within is what I'm hearing for this person, okay? So let's start clarifying. And by this person doing this and allowing spirit to lead them, they're finding victory. They're finding victory and success here, okay? I do feel like this person is starting to realize that the people outside of them were keeping them scared or fearful or something like that, okay? Yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Sorry, I almost said I came in. Uh, Hermit here. Again, this is someone who has been within themselves. 333 on the phone. This person may have a master number 33. But 333 says, despite your fears and concerns, continue to move forward. Because what this king of wands is, men or woman, they're doing something that they've never done before. At least not this lifetime. This is someone, like I said, all of the qualities that we are seeing about this person who I'm speaking on, it used to be vice versa. It's like they were moving and someone around them agreed to it or, or gave them permission to do so. If this person, it's like they would go and get a job that everyone else outside of them deemed as success. They would be working these jobs miserable as hell. But they like gotta keep up the facade because everybody around them, like, you got a good job, you got a good job, right? This is also someone who will get into a relationship based on the superficial things. People say, oh, yeah, he's fine. Oh, yeah, she's fine. Uh, he or she got a good job. He or she got good credit. He or she's a good look. And they will stay in a relationship that's unhappy, miserable as fuck, again, because they're going, they're looking for validation outside of themselves, okay? 444 on the phone. This person is definitely being guided by spirit. And there's a lot of protection around this person. But also, fears signify stability. This person is realizing, and I feel like this is someone who could be um, maybe late 30s, early 40s. They're starting to see if they want real stability, they're going to have to go within themselves. Because their entire life that they've been living was based on what other people wanted for them. That's a hard pill to swallow, 515. It's a hard pill to swallow. Like, damn, the only reason I'm at this job is because this is what my parents want for me. Uh, the only reason I'm in this relationship is because this is what my friends say is a good look. The only reason I bought this damn car, it speaks of ass car. Because that was society, you know. Somebody's like really going within. Like, I don't even want this house. I don't even want this car. I don't even want this relationship. I'm tired of going in here at this damn job every day. I want wish fulfillment. What I want. Nine of cups here. So somebody's also, it's like they're putting their foot down. If it ain't what they want, yeah, stepping in their power here with the strength card. If it's not what they want, they're not doing it, okay? Now, here's the thing. Because this person has been controlled by so many people for so long, they got people who, like, people are shook, shocked. So we have to begin with a Leo. We got the sun, Leo, strength, Leo, king of wands, Leo, okay? But I'm telling you, somebody in like. They are really starting to see it, man. But they, I told you, they were miserable with everything they had going on in life because they were going outside themselves. And the people that they were listening to give off this energy. They have our tears more. And you know, some of it can just be, like I said, beliefs and old belief systems. Some of them can just be belief systems. Um, you gotta date a certain type of person to be successful. This person is starting to see because we have success right here, victory, six of wands. By them going with themselves, listening to the messages that's coming from spirit, listening to self, because I say that all the time, the moment that you go against yourself, there's the moment you find yourself in darkness. Okay? And your life is at the will of other people. But now with the hand in the reverse, they start to see it. It's like this person is doing a handstand and everything that once looks stable and upright, right, they see that she totally different. Also, this person has made, you know, now they're having to look at the decision that they made based on what other people want for them. And with this four cups here, um, tell John, hey, cup, somebody walking away from being miserable, walking away from trying to please everyone else. I'm tired. It's like, when do I get to live my life? When do I get to truly be happy in the things that I want to do? 
and you know, it could have been put in this person's head that they need to sacrifice themselves for the greater good of the people around them. And it's been going on for so long with the four pentacles here. It's like, it was scary for this person to step out on faith. But the need to want to be happy and be authentic outweighed the fear of what the Five of Swords people would say. Okay? And so now you have the Seven of Wands, with the Six of Wands again, Six of Swords again, y'all, with the Hierophant. Again, is that like the same shit we got up here? Six of Swords, Six of Swords, Six of Wands, Six of Wands. Keep this nice thing that the four verses allowing other people to determine what is best for them. Okay? The person could have came from a family where it's like, everybody graduated before you from college, you gotta do the same thing. What if this person wants to be an entrepreneur? What if this person has really found some type of talents that they have within themselves and they don't need to go to school? You know, something going on with belief systems here is just period. And I feel like this is somebody now, there's the Five of Cups. Because for, for some of you, this person is like, in their late notice, early 40s, and they're starting to realize that like, a, a, a good chunk of their life has been lived. What's they saying? Living through someone vicariously or something like that? People been trying to live through this person's eyes. People been forcing their goals and their opinions and the things that they wanted for themselves onto this person. Um, and, and, you know, the people, who, whoever this is, is really controlling. I don't know if this is a parent. We do have a Queen of Cups here that's like a mother figure. Um, but it's somebody in this person's life that they looked up to. And they dare not go and do. And, and here's the thing. It, they could never come to an agreement. It has always been those people way on the highway. How is it going to be their way on the highway in your life? Hello? Somebody's trying to create a legacy here. And I got the thing right like, am I creating my own legacy or yours? Am I living my dreams or yours? Hey, man, you reverse. So the other cup series is walking away from being miserable and not living life to the fullest. It's like this person saying, I got one life in this body. I'd be damned if I continue to live it through your eyes. I'll be damned if I continue to see the world through your eyes, whoever the Father Souls NG is. Because here's the thing, and we often find this the person who's been suppressing their true self is someone who's chosen. So they've been attacked since childhood. Mm -hmm. Right there. Could be a boy and a girl, take out his name. Somebody's been attacked since childhood because they were chosen. And maybe they're just not starting to see it. But this is somebody who really believed that they had to do what these other people wanted them to do. They had crazy ass beliefs about what would make them successful. Dating a certain race, dating a certain type of group, subgroup, however you want to look at it. That is what would make you successful. Nobody taught this person that being true to themselves is what's going to make you successful. And people measure success in many different ways, okay? It's not just the material world. But nobody taught this person that. And people look at whoever's well, hand for years, five of swords, and it's just the same thing. It's just a belief system. It has really been keeping somebody stuck. And for a, you know, for a long time, they fought for the belief system. They thought that was the only way, because so many before them had did that. Okay, but you do have the eight of cups here. And now, this five of cups, I'm telling you, somebody realizes that. There were some things that they wanted to do, but it wouldn't have caused them to cross this bridge right here and step out on faith. And they didn't do it. Possibly out of fear or because it went against what they believed or what they were taught to believe. Okay? Now I'm going to look into that because this is what this person is ruminating over. They can't get away from it. Whatever it was that they didn't cross that bridge on. Okay, spirit. And I'm getting that crossing this crossing this bridge um 
would have caused this person to cleanse, because I see the stream of water. It would have caused them to cleanse themselves from everything that they were taught. And it would possibly put this person in a higher, it's like elevation. So they were deliberately deterred from crossing this bridge. And for a while, they was on the same side of the people who was telling them not to cross the bridge, because they thought that was the right thing to do. You live for other people for so long, you don't have no self. You don't know who you are anymore. And that's another thing. You have people who sometimes they get tired of being sick and tired, but because they don't have any identity, they fear crossing the bridge to see what the other side of the bridge holds, all right? So this person has some type of self-esteem issues. And they may not look like that out in the world. It's a king of wands. I'm sure this person will look um, insecure. But insecurities have a lot to, to do with this and belief systems and not having the right energies around you, okay? Um, it's, it's, it's sad because I feel like it's family. You know, I tell people you have to come outside of the four walls in order to gain some real knowledge, bro. Because if you stay around people who look like you, think like you, act like you, that's how you know. And you're going to push everything in what is different from what you know. That's what this person is doing here with this kind of curse. All right. I feel like this person admires. There are some people that in, that's in this person's life. They've been pushed out. Possibly three people here that were free speakers and free thinkers. But it's, it's kind of like this person, what they're giving me is a mentality back in the 40s and the 50s. That is the mentality that this person's given me. So things had to be done a certain way, and if it wasn't, you were like outcast. That is the kind of situation this person has going on. And they live their life according to that. All right, so Spirit, what is this that this person said about? Whoa. And we got three cards, so this could be the three different situations that this person is sad about, okay? Wow, wow, wow! King of Cups. This person could have actually had feelings, could have even been in love with someone. But you see how this person's meditating? Maybe the person that they was in love with was different from them. So they let that boat sail away. That's one thing they're saying about. And what I said at the beginning, a job, eight of pentacles. They're working a the job they're fucking miserable with. They tell me the Bible and phone. So this person has passed up someone they had real emotions for. They passed up some type of job opportunity that was offered to them because it didn't fit the high fit five of swords. And then you have the ten of pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate achievement. You know what this is telling me? This person felt they could have this Ten of Pentacles with the person that they let get away in this boat. But because that person was so different from the family, for what the Five of Swords was, would think and say, this kid of, of ones cared too much about what people thought of them. That's how I was raised. And it's the people that they hung around. Everybody thought like this person. And so you find yourself living a, a lie. You're, you're living a lie. You're living your life according to what other people want for you. And that ain't why you was putting it on the damn way nobody say. And somebody's going to realize that. And they're moving on. They're allowing the spirit to guide them. But there is some sadness here. Some great, great sadness. Okay? I'm telling you. So we have a lot of swords. Some of these decisions this person feels like was once in a lifetime opportunities that they didn't take, whether it be a relationship or a job, they feel like they'll never get that opportunity again. Can you imagine? So this person might have some anger, some hurt, um, because they allow these other people to control them. This is somebody who was scared to think for themselves. Because when they did them for themselves, they realized that it was totally different than what they had been brought up. And so they dare not disappoint whoever the higher effect dinosaur energy is. And we're not going to disappoint them.
there could be family, friends, it, it's real, whoever it is, they really thought highly of what these people thought of them, okay? So we had temperance with the Ace of Cups, death, five wounds, because of fear. All right, so we have this Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, with the page of Pentacles here, and the page of wounds, and then we have the world. Because Eight of Swords, that's, that's what I'm getting here, man. So for some of you, uh, again, they were offered something with the job, Ace of Pentacles, and have something with love, Ace of Cups. And it's, here's the thing, with the Tempest here, their spirit guides bless them with these opportunities. But they let them in because differences of opinions, because that's how the five words is, differences of opinions. Mm, mm, mm. So, with the Page of Pentacles, that is a new offer, right? So this could have been somebody that you guys were talking to. Well, this could be you, take how it resonate. But what do you see here? You see the birth in the world when it comes to this brand of the wings. Pages is all about new energy, and so are the aces. And these were blessings brought in by this person's spirit, guys, but because of the differences of opinions and fear. Look, y'all. Fear of what others would say. Kept this person tied in their head, and so that's they missed the opportunities. Some of that could look like uh, never responding back to an email, job offer, once in a lifetime job offer, um, blocking. I'm getting a blocking of communication when it came when it came to this love offer here or this new connection here. And sometimes they can't really read it with that nine swords. They can't even sleep at night. Because they're starting to see what, what has held them back for so long. I don't know where this person works, but they're not happy with this. So that's the truth, man. Whatever relationship they're in, they're not happy. Somebody's whole life is music before it comes for a four cups, four pentacles. They're standing up to that. Their work sucks and not fulfilled. This really could be someone who wants to be an entrepreneur. But maybe they're settling in for the nine to five because they're safe. It's in the four walls. It's like somebody just giving parameters. You can't go outside of those parameters. If you go outside of them, you're like a dying go to hell type shit. It's really, it's too much. But that's how they kept this person in fear. So this is someone who never really got to see it. They never really got to their highest potential because they would never come out the four walls. To be someone who's an emperor or an empress. If they were to take that leap, that's what they're doing now. But there are some opportunities in the past that has this person just like kind of sick. And I don't know if I ever get those chances again. Okay, 2055 on the phone. All right, so the Ace of Swords here. With the two of those devil energy. Someone's just trying to realize people told this person these types of things to control them because this person's chosen, because of their potential to be fucking great. The people that they looked up to knew this person's potential to be great. So they kept them small in the mind. I tell you, you free your mind, the rest they're going to follow. I don't know who this is for y'all. Look at it. Look at it. And we got the ten of hands at the bottom of the deck. Wheel of Fortune, Empress, Star, Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords. So for a lot of you, this could be someone in a high priestess. It could have settled for a king and queen of cups. It's either this queen of cups or someone else around them that is, because you have a team of ones here. And I, I feel like when I say once in a lifetime, you can be a queen of cups any, any given day. You don't need an empress any given day. You just don't. It really is like a once in a lifetime thing. Um, so with this team of wands, it's like somebody's continuing to 
get something that they really didn't want to come because they're ready for a change with the Wheel of Fortune here. Now, this person gets into this relationship because everybody say it's a good look. Or being with these type of people will bring you success or get you further in the world. And it's hitting them. It's hard work right? because it's not what they want. I don't have to worry about it. It's right here. It's not what they want. It's just period, okay? And I feel like these two people may have become codependent on one another. I feel like both of these people are unhealed. Both of them come from the same background. And like I said, they're, they're surrounding themselves with people who look like them, think like them, act like them. And this empress was very different because the empress embodies all four of the queens. That was very different than what the hell this king of cups had ever experienced. And I ain't gonna tell you now, because that's just what happens. When you meet someone so high vibrational, you can't help but to talk about it. And so this person talked about it. And that's why you got the five of swords. The five of swords is, is having to win at all costs. So they put shit in this person's mind. Fear, doubt, differences of opinions. That's why I tell you, when you go outside of yourself, that's when you have fucked up, that's when you have found yourself in darkness. When you go within yourself, because this is somebody who had a lot of emotions for this person, but this person was so different from the norm, from this person's norm. Even though they didn't like their norm, that was their only way of living. It's really sad, because I'm telling somebody didn't live in the entire world, like 1940, 1950, 2022, what the fuck? Okay, so you have the nine of pentacles, the two of wands, and the honey. Because what we said at the beginning, that four, 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 somebody wants stability. I do feel like this is someone's twin, because like I said, that king of wands, king of cups, could really be an emperor or an empress. And so in this case, they're sad over an empress, so this person has the potential to be an emperor. But they, they up until this point, they haven't stepped into it. Okay? Because of fear is no vibration. It keeps you stuck, keep you down, controls you. Okay? I just have the full soul. Somebody needs to heal themselves and nurture themselves. And I feel like they're choosing to do because the, the hermit is single, the nine of pentacles is single. See, I feel like this person is choosing to go in hermit to get to the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is self mastery. Huh? What did I say? I have a healthy, beautiful body because who this is is getting messages from spirit that grow within themselves. They're not second guessing themselves. They're not being persuaded by other, excuse me, by other people's strong opinions on what to do. And so because of this, this person's about to have a brand new beginning. And this devil, I can't get away from it. So this is what I'm telling you. Oftentimes, when you find chosen individuals, you will see that this thing is not far behind. Because whoever this is, there's certain energy. For some of you, somebody has like a South node and Leo, North node, Aquarius, or vice versa. But anyway, these, this devil attaches itself to the light, to these light beings, light bearers is what I'm hearing. People who carry the light, the devil attaches itself to, and this devil has been attaching itself to this person ever since they was a young child in different ways. Okay? But see, once a person gets you in the mind, they got you. Once they get your ass in the mind, they can control you and tell you what in the fuck. And so this is somebody who got got in the mind. And so it's with the moon. So because of fear, somebody stays stuck and some shit is dry. Or hey, you know, you want for real, for real. Because when this person met this empress, that they regret not uh, stepping over that bridge, that mountain back there, it's just the same thing with the bridge. They were being called to cross that mountain with their higher selves, which would have been an emperor. But because they were scared to do so, people put all kinds of shit in their head. Um, about the, the empress being so different from them, because this empress is someone who they give life. This is something this person has never experienced before. Love, this, this person experienced conditional love, love based on conditions. Okay, 
basically when you mix these two together, this is love based on conditions right here. It's unhealthy as fuck. It's codependency is what it is. This ignorance is full of all of these unhealthy attachments. And they just attract. Look at all of this lush and luster around this person. People are drawn to this energy. But because someone has been living life for everybody else for so long, they didn't have the a self-esteem and confidence to cross the bridge. Therefore, they stayed in situations that continue to make them unhappy out of fear of what behind her and father so that people would think, say, and do. At some point, that doesn't put them don't care what they do because you got to realize your life is yours and yours alone to live it how you want to live it. You were not put here to live for other people and somebody is seeing that now. No walking away from it. Because I'm being told to grab a surrender card. Spirit. And a lot of times when people are scared, what do they throw up? Their ego. It's the lower self. Ego is the lower self. Instead of allowing their heart to be open and take that leap of faith on those new opportunities, jobs and relationships and the opportunity to build the ten of pinnacles and the four of ones, instead of being open and reading the situations with compassion, someone throws up their ego and it becomes tox uh, just a toxic situation. Okay? So when the stress, I told someone stress and not a swords. Because they really feel like if those opportunities that they didn't take then were opportunities of a lifetime. It says take a few deep breaths, exhale the tension that you build within your body. And let the stress go as you come back to center. This is somebody who needs to practice meditation. Okay, just go within yourself and just practice breathing. And let go of the stress right here. Anything else for it? Somebody really feel like they messed up, man. But it's a good thing that they yep, surrender to receiving support and love. Because they, they walked away from the unconditional love because they hadn't seen it before. But like, that must not be real. I'm, I'm afraid to take that love. Somebody loving me and I ain't even did nothing for me. Because like, when I say they used to love based on conditions, they have to fight hard to the ones. They have to buy things. They have to act a certain way in order for this person to love them. This is not the energy of an empress. This empress gives life. So this card says, surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in here rather than trying to handle the yourself in your lives. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. What does the empress do? They nurture you. Okay? So for some of you, this person, it's not that they went to someone else, but their ideal person is toxic and codependent. That's real love. That's what they thought real love was. So they could have not took this opportunity with this empress. Because like I said, they didn't have to fight for it. It wasn't hard. Real love is hard work. I have to fight all day and night to get somebody to appreciate me for who I am. And this because this person didn't know who they was. They just didn't know who they were. Okay? So now I'm supposed to tell this person to surrender obsessive thinking. That's the eight of swords with the game of five of wands. If you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Then it's going to bring great clarity and even solve the problem. So this is someone who is stressing the eyeballs out because they're, with their hand in reverse, they're starting to see everything. It's like somebody's doing a handstand. Life has been turned upside down for this person. And they're starting to see the reason they behave the way they behave, okay? And so now, for some of y'all, this is the years, months, years, whatever. For some reason, this person feels like they missed this opportunity of a lifetime when it comes to career, and love. Mm. So I hope this person is watching. I really hope they're watching. You have to, you have to let this go and give it over to spirit. Okay? That's why you're being guided. Season source to go within yourself. 
spirit lives within you, you're chosen. Spirit is always lived within you, which is why the devil was never far behind you. The problem is you started fighting for this devil in you because that's what you thought world was. And you see how it kept you down. So you have the ten of cups with the eight of pentacles. I just saw the king of wands and the two of swords. Somebody was refusing to see that their own family was hurting them and, and like stealing opportunities from them by putting shit in their head and making them not go after the opportunities. They was refusing to see that most of this hurt and pain was coming from the people that they were fighting for. Like they was going hard for these people. Ten of wands, and this is how these people were in their energy, is because this person didn't know their anger. But of course the devil knows the light. So the people that they with knew their work, but they didn't know their own work. And see, so when you get with workers, you're going to find your words and you're going to run. Because of the, the, the power of that light and energy is heavy. But you know, not in a manipulative way, in a freeing way. And somebody was just scared. Boom. Okay? Mm, mm, mm. Let me get this person. There's two different dates I'm going to pull from because it's important. I'm going to get a message here and I'm going to get a card of the day. So let's see, Spirit. That's exactly what they see. Okay? And they're having to be honest with themselves. And so, by this person being honest with themselves, looking at things from a different perspective, someone's whole base chakra is changing. That's what I'm talking about. Fortune. Death and the world. Someone's career, home, and finances, they're changing, okay? So this person can go towards joy and happiness. They can drop the Ten of Wands and gain the Ten of Cups by going towards a, a twin flame. Because that's what see is, y'all. I mean, y'all knew that. That's all I read on this twin flame situation, okay? Lead by example. Because what I say the King of Wands was a visionary leader. But they've got caught into the low vibration of things. Okay? Like, this person leads with ego and pride. And spirit wants this person to be more compassionate and allow love in. And this person needs to ask for guidance and follow the golden rule. I feel like the golden rule is to allow love in. It's the highest vibration of all. What they say, how they say it go. When the power of love can take over the love of power, that's when there's been a change. That's it, y'all. That's what happens when you live in compassion. The power of love, because this is what this empress gives out. The power of love will take over the love of power. Because somebody here, they were in a situation with someone, Queen of Cups, Devil, Five of Swords, Hierophant. They were in some, with someone who wanted to control them based on their own beliefs, which they're unhealed as well, okay? And the most people you spend time with shape who you are. So this person's out here acting in their lower self, not even knowing, not even knowing that they are divine masculine. She still ain't popped on the board because we got free will. This person has to choose. I feel like that's what they're doing right now. They've chosen... Now that they see things differently, they've chosen to go within themselves and get some self-mastery. Once they do that, then they can step into their uh, emperor energy. But right now, they're just in that stage, five of cups, nine of swords, like, I have fucked up. I've missed the opportunity of a lifetime. Twin flames don't come around every day. But I don't think this person has missed this opportunity. I mean, I don't know. Spirit says give it to give it to spirit. Give it over to the most high God. And you know, where are they going to change the outcome? It ain't. You're going to make your ass sick as fuck. Okay? Come out of the worry. Release that. Because, again, that's low vibrational energy. And get in your heart center. And just allow love to flow in and out. Just like this eight right here. Okay? Allow love to flow in and out. And this person will find themselves exactly where they want to be. If you are true to yourself and not living for no one else, stand up for what it is that you want. And you follow your heart, allow your heart to lead you, they'll be on that boat that they think got away. They'll be on that boat before they know it. And like I said, this boat for this person is jobs, relationships that they feel like they'll never get another opportunity at. 
All right, y'all, this one I had, this your girl Spisha said, I know y'all can find on my feet, whoever reading this is. I mean, awareness is half the battle. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm also getting with the Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Seven of Swords. It will continue to put in work in a, an unheat, like a trauma bond, like a hurt situation. I don't even know how to explain it. And with the Seven of Swords, this person knew that what they were living wasn't their truth, but they continued to work on it. And it just brought more pain because they're not truly into what they're doing, but yet they're doing it. So it's either they're pleasing the people around them and being dissatisfied. You've been on fake for so long, and that's why it's here. That was faking. Faking like a mother.